Hi, this is Nadia Van Rijsten with sportsoperview.com. The sports betting industry has long been dominated by online sports books, and all for good reason. The United States sports book market has been linked with Las Vegas and the offerings available in Sin City as federal law prevented sports books in all but four U.S. states, courtesy of the Professional Amateur Sports Protection Act of 1992, known as PASPA. Now, all that changed on May 14th when the United States Supreme Court ruled that states could regulate their own laws pertaining to sports betting. New Jersey's effort to bring sports betting to Atlantic City brought about the ruling from the nation's highest court. The professional sports leagues and the NCAA argued that sports betting would threaten the integrity of their game if allowed outside of Nevada, but this was a losing hand. New Jersey was the first to bring sports betting to Americans looking to wager without restrictions. Delaware, Delaware, one of the four states exempt from the old legislation, previously allowed their residents to wager on parlay-style bets prior to the ruling of the Supreme Court. Delaware, Delawareans can wager now on the full sports card, including straight bets, parlays, exotic wagers at three local casinos, uh, Dover Downs, Delaware Park, and Harrington Raceway and Casino. Now, sports betting is now expected at least half of the U.S. states by 2020. Uh, sports Group is in the process of forming a legal state tracker uh, that maps each of the state's plans to offer legal sports betting. But what does legal sports betting mean for a player looking to uh, get the best bang for his or her book? More vigorous for starters. Now, DraftKings Sportsbook is, uh, for example, is offering 30 cent lines on MB MLB games and their players. Now, a forum poster at Roto Grinders, a popular, popular fantasy sport betting forum, had the following to say. Now, let's have reasonable lines, please. If DK has 30 cent lines, just keep playing offshore. Pretty easy in most states with a Bitcoin account. Small edges matter. The old saying that players looking to appreciate the value associated with small edges should walk down any street on the Las Vegas Strip and look up at the towering casinos. Players who wager daily, whether recreational or professional, desire better margins so that they win more over the long term. Now, this is referred to as expected value or EV. Now, Sportsbook's rating guide compares over 190 online sports books by feature, including those that deal with reduced juice and uh, provided bonuses to players for their deposits. SBR will continue to monitor the state status of the US-based gaming market and provide updates to players as more states throw their hat in the ring and bring sports betting to Americans. I've been your host, Natalie Van Reiser, reporting for sportsbookreview.com.